today I'm going to give you a tour of my study workspace. I am actually using it now in my study. So compared to the previous template videos that I've only introduced and explained about the functions, This is the real life page. I am actually seriously making a good and efficient use with this notion in managing my study note, assignment tracker, and exam reminders. As you can see from my page, I have created the individual pages for each courses I am taking this semester. And below the course page will be the deadline tracker and calendar view. And by actually setting the date reminder, this is none, but yeah. Let me just say if I have added a reminder like one day before, then actually this date will have a red color, which means it's going to send you a notification. Um, by actually setting this reminder alarm, Notion helped me by sending the notification through phone or through my Mac. This is pretty useful for me because I sometimes forget the deadline of the assignment since I was really busy this semester. And for people who doesn't know yet, I am currently studying and doing intern together. And personally, I wouldn't recommend you to do this unless you're taking less than three core courses. Anyway, as you can see from the deadline blocks, I have added a progress formula which depends on goal and completed. This formula was actually made by Mr. Ben S, who is digital designer and Notion ambassador. And for who also wants to get the Notion formula, I will be adding this progress bar link below in the description box so you can check it out. Actually, his page has many different formulas, many examples, so I think it is really useful and productive to look around here. The left column of my page is designed by photos and timetable. Um, these photos are downloaded from Pinterest because I like this kind of mood. These photos are here just to satisfy my own taste, no big deal. And between these two photos are my timetable, which only have Monday and Thursday. This is because I only have class on these two days. And please don't get it wrong because as you can see they are all continuous like 12 32 9 20 and 12 32 6 20 yep i never knew that i could have this kind of weird and pressuring timetable in my life but if you have even more stressing timetable i am really happy to know please leave comment below if you don't mind because so far i haven't seen any timetable that's more extreme than this. Okay, so now back to main point. Let me show you how my course pages look like. So actually, each page has um, slightly different features, but the basic frames are the same. They will all contain the table DB like this, which I have written my lecture study notes, assignment files sometimes, sample code given during lectures, reference files, and more. So in first page, the main feature is this schedule. This schedule has default table view, and I have added calendar view, but I won't use it that well. The first column has the week number, week one, week two, week three, and more. The second column has topics name. Third column contains the type of my table block, like lecture, assignments, yep. And the last column has dates. And as you can see here, the red color is indicating that I have set the notification on the specific schedule. And if I open one of the box, let me open week four, maybe. I have written notes here. And since my major is computer engineering, I am actually very happy about Notion's math block and code block. Like this. This is the example of code block. And this is actually the example of the math block. 
Lohan is really doing well in this way. And below this scheduler DB is reference and assessment weighting information. This is not important as much as this scheduler DB, but it's sometimes needed. So that's why I added it there. Okay, and let me move to other course page. Um, maybe I'll show you this. This page is actually similar to the previous one. Maybe the designing icon here might be different. And the topics are in tag design compared to the text mode from the previous one. I have used tag design here because they have more shorter topic name. That's the only reason. This page only has... Yeah, this page is actually almost the same except the designing layout, but this has reference link here. And if you want to see... This is how I made my notes. Okay. Other pages also have similar structure. Oh yeah, right, and this page has the learning outcome and course learning outcome section. I've wrote this because I was most excited for this class, but turns out that this course was one of the hardest course throughout this semester. And it was not, and it is not that fun as much as I expected. And actually, this is a modification of my original study planner template. I'll give you the link above. I have made modification here because I really wanted to focus more on study related materials than designing layout. Right, so as you can see here, they only contain the very, very fundamental items like my course page, my scheduler, the deadline tracker, timetable, and yep, below here is the contact and code commands that I need to refer when I am doing my coding assignment. And as you can see, I am a heavy Notion using student. So I have actually put everything inside here. Yeah, this was the tour video of my studying planner this semester. I hope this was useful and Thank you for watching.